Wow. Puss in Books Trapped in Laepic Tale is an interactive story that combines a TV show, a book, and a video game all in one, showcasing the worst aspects of each. It's got the illusion of choice of a video game, the interactivity of a TV show, and the low entertainment value of a book. At first glance, you might think this show is for little children, but you're wrong. It was accidentally given a G rating by CEO Robert Netflix, because he thought G meant graphic and R meant really safe for kids. I would have run away already, but I am afraid you will stab me in the butt! <laughs> now, the shrunken down video here is not because any footage of this highly sought after show will get my video taken down, I just wanted to visually represent how much attention I was willing to give this show. The premise is that the beloved character Puss in Book is stuck in a book, forced to live out a bunch of classic fairy tales that we all know and love like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Snow White, Aladdin, Thor Ragnarok, uh, Big Pig, and along the way, you, the viewer, make choices. The narrator gives you two options and you get to pick. Except sometimes the choices don't matter, or sometimes they force you to pick the other option anyway. It's all laid out in the most intricate and well-composed decision tree since Knack. The storytelling ability on display gives me chills. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting chills. <laughs> It involves a diverse cast of characters, almost none of which are from the award-winning Shrek franchise, so I'll list them off for you based on my encyclopedic memory. Puss is the main character, whose villains include Malaria and the arch-nemesis Farthole Me Fishfinger, former villains like Gollum and Duchess, and a group of orphans that he stole, which are, uh, all these characters, like, um... Why Kitty or Dulcinea is better? Kitty? You are not as good as they say. You are better. Quote for Dulcinea. Most people like Kitty, I get why, but tell me. Did she ever risk everything she has for him? Sure, people hate Dulcinea, but the question is, can you, if you like Dulcinea, put one. If you like Kitty, put two. If you like Dulcinea a tiny bit more, put three. If you like Kitty a tiny bit more, put four, or just put neutral. Two... Oh shoot, I shouldn't spoil the video. So of course, being as familiar as I am with the six season TV show, right out the gate, I am super invested in these characters, and I totally care. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of depth to anything here. Most of the show consists of surface level gags. Gags. You get it? She's ugly. Aha, uh -huh, he's gonna kiss her. It's so gross. Aha, uh -huh, he turned to fishy. Aha, uh -huh, they fight it. Uh -huh, they drinking tea awkwardly. Although sometimes, sometimes, they throw in a little joke for the grown ups in the room and they're not half bad. Golem, why are you even here? You're one of the good guys now. This story not part of standard continuity. But these are not enough to make up for the very stagnant nature of the story. The plot is basically, oh no, I am in situation. How do I get out of situation? Overall, Puss in Boots is trying to get out of the book, but also these fairy tales are just temporary obstacles that he overcomes with ease. I guess low tension, low depth situations are kind of ideal for little kids because a low stress story makes for a more fun story, I guess. But who's the real audience, okay? It's me. As a grown man, all I want out of my children's entertainment is fun characters with some sort of nuanced, real emotion. Pixar did it, okay? Why can't Puss? Come on, Puss. Also, with a well-established protagonist like Puss, the difficult decisions should be left to him, not to me. I get that video games offer you that control, but usually the character you control is some generic John Johnson, a sort of puppet that you can substitute for yourself in the story. I get that basically this choice is, what do you want to see happen next? But it's kind of useless considering one, I'd rather let a TV show surprise me and take me wherever it wants. And two, it just makes me curious what would have happened if I'd chosen the other thing. To the show's credit, it does let you go back and see what you missed, but it feels kind of clunky having to go all the way back. Like I forget where in the story this took place. Was this before the pig or before the lamp. All this dumb show does is keep me minimally engaged for 20 minutes and forces me to make choices. I don't want that kind of responsibility. I'm like having the fate of a puss in boots in my own hands. If I had to give an age for the target audience, it would be a two out of 10. Fun fact, puss in boots. Fun fact, puss in boots is plural. The singular form is poo in boot.